सास न्याय का सबके लिए आकाश न्याय का सबके लिए हेलो एवरीवन आई एम एडवोकेट स्वर्ण गुरीनो इट इज अ ग्रेट प्रिविलेज टू बी हियर ऑन द वर्चुअल जुडी केयर सीरीज ऑफ गोवा स्टेट लीगल सर्विस अथॉरिटी द वर्ल्ड डे for international justice is observed on the 17th of July every year to recognize the strengthening system of international justice and also to promote the rights of victims this day is also known as the day of international criminal justice it marks the importance of fighting against impunity and brings justice for the victims of war crimes crimes against humanity and genocide in season 2 of the virtual judicial series we have with us shrimati sarojini sardinia director of prosecution in the state of goa shri s r rivankar senior advocate shri v g costa public prosecutor Ms Albertina Almeida advocate and Sri John Abreu Lobo advocate who will share their insights on the occasion of World Day for International Justice on the topic how can we strengthen the justice delivery to secure the rights of victims the indian constitution provides various rights such as equality before law protection of life and personal liberty equal justice for all which includes free legal aid in respect of the indigen person most importantly it provides for the separation of the judiciary from the executive in the public services of the state the criminal justice system in india has four components the investigation agency the judiciary the prosecution and the prison It is the collective duty of each of these components to ensure the strengthening of the public justice delivery system and secure the rights of the victims. In this endeavor, it is the duty of the investigation agency to register cases, investigate them as per the procedures laid down under the Criminal Procedure Code, and later on send them up for trials. Efficacy of the criminal justice system. hinges on the prompt completion of the trial and higher conviction rates the elements of this system are interdependent to the extent that the strictest enforcement of law by the investigation agency will not deliver the goods unless it is supported by a judicial system by way of prompt disposals therefore the role of the prosecutor and his performance before the court can be judged by his ability to assist the court in this regard the concept of speedy trial assumes a great importance each of the components of the justice delivery system are responsible in ensuring speedy trial a good working relationship between the court and the prosecutor could help drastically in achieving this results now examining the national criminal justice policy it is observed that the laws are enacted by the legislator they are enforced by the police and finally interpreted by the courts neither the police nor the prosecution agency has any say in the formulation of the laws the number of criminal laws are increasing by every passing day however their drafting are sometimes bristled with avoidable vagueness in their construction it is felt desirable that the representative of the prosecution and that of the police should be associated with the formulation of laws because their field experience would go a long way in improving the quality of the laws if the policy as explained is followed it would definitely reduce the number of victims withdrawing from the process increase the volume of the trial being heard protect the public and put the perpetrators of the crime behind bars the police must give the victims 
the support and the treatment they deserve while ensuring that the criminals face justice. Securing the rights of victims include ensuring that they get justice they deserve and for this an urgent action on the court backlog is a must. More particularly, the victims of rape are seeing a huge delay to their cases which is enough to put them through trauma and uncertainty. We need to see an increase in the court capacity and continue to ensure that the resources are given to the specialist support services of the victims to help them through these long delays. A thorough investigation, a robust prosecution, transformation in the support given to the victim and speedy trial would strengthen the justice delivery system to secure the rights of the victim. On the occasion of uh, the World Day of International Justice 2021. I've been asked to express views on the topic how to strengthen the justice delivery system to secure the rights of victims. Topic is vast. Going straight to the point, we, if you look at our judicial, uh, judicial system, which is basically adopted from British legal system, is more criminal oriented, where uh, rights of the accused are more protected and uh, the reforms and rehabilitation whereas the victim is neglected. Considering the social and economic conditions in our country, there is a need to make it victim oriented, protecting the rights to participate in trials and the rehabilitation. In reality, victim suffers daily due to crime committed against him but due to our social conditions, he is looked down as a perpetrator to the crime. In 1985, the United Nations General Assembly adopted a declaration based uh, on the principles of justice to victim and role of victim in criminal judicial system, which needs participation of victim. Victim, in fact, victim is just called as a witness, even though he suffers most physically, mentally, emotionally, and uh, economically. In my view, based on legal experience and also as past public prosecutor, I would like to uh, suggest certain corrective measures. Uh, special protection be provided to the victim upon registering a fire uh, till the filing of the report or till the end of the trial. Provide uh, protection to victim uh, uh, to participate uh, and attend the trial on the lines of the accused. Uh, the victim compensation be made more effective and more genuine and true. Yes, there is an immense need to strengthen the justice deliver by securing the rights of the victim. As we all know that the victim plays the important role in the dispensation of justice, but over a period of time, the victim has not been given much importance what it actually deserves. No doubt, our laws are fortified enough and necessary provisions have been made, but their implementation is not done in a manner it requires. Hence, there is a need to strengthen the justice delivery in order to secure the rights of the victim. In my opinion, some of the rights and the means are required for strengthening the justice delivery. Number one, there must be a victim compensation scheme in the line of Kerala victim compensation scheme. There must be witness protection policy where interests of the witness are secured and protected. The victim must be considered or handled with dignity. There must be a victim right to be heard right from the occurrence of the offence till the end of the trial and thereafter. The trial must be completed in a time-bound manner. Necessary arrangement to record the statement on section 164 and same can, may be considered as the examination in chief. Some of the rights of the victim which are not existent. Hence, we must strive hard to give justice to the victim by securing their rights for the purpose of justice delivery. Thank you. Hello and greetings on the occasion of the International Day of Justice. As we all know, a victim who has been victimized on the basis of caste, class, gender, age, ability, sexual orientation, creed, 
already goes through a lot of trauma. Therefore, it is very important that they are handheld through the whole uh, justice system so that they do not feel a secondary victimization when they go through that system as they go to various points and at multiple points have to access various services like they may have to go to the uh, for medical examination they may need uh, uh, counseling they may need uh, they 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 may need to uh, speak about their uh, their concerns and it is it is in this context that it is necessary to institutionalized mechanisms for assisting those who are victims or I would say survivors of the, uh, uh, you know, survivors of uh, victimization on some count or the other. Because of this, when the Goa Children's Act was being uh, worked on, we had suggested and we had envisaged a victim assistance unit. However, there are no detailed rules that would ensure that this victim assistance unit is properly entrenched into the system and is functional in a way that it reaches people. Um, to also, there is a one-stop counselling centre scheme. Now that is a scheme and it is not institutionalised. Why should it not be? Because as it is, you already have systems like you you all you have government departments you have units you have various uh, services that are granted that are uh, given by the departments by the government uh, disseminated by the government through its entrenched systems so it should not be pegged on a scheme because then it's very arbitrary and it doesn't then have a proper transparent and accountable system of functioning through which victims can be held through the whole system, head held through the whole system. It's also important that then there has to be appropriate budgeting for this system so that it's a one-stop system for the victims. That's very crucial. A good day to you all my friends. On this day where we celebrate the International Day of Justice. This is a historic day where we adopted the Roman statute so that there could be justice for all victims of crime. I would like to quote the motto of our Goa High Court Bar Association which says, justice be done though the heavens may fall. Our criminal justice system in Goa has withstood the test of times and our courts, as well as our lawyers, have functioned to their optimum and the best in the existing and prevailing circumstances. However, as law is dynamic and is always in a state of flux and ever-changing and adapting to the circumstances that surround it, the criminal justice system also requires certain introspective changes to be made. Our courts, as I have said, have functioned to their best. However, the need of the hour is better sensitivity and better infrastructure. When I speak of sensitivity, to victims of crime, the first and foremost department which requires conditional revamping is the police department. They are required to be sensitized so that they are viewed as protectors and also as the first counsellors to the victims of crime. It would require that all police personnel are sensitized to this fact wherein they have to be approachable to the said victim of crime who feels most comfortable and secure in approaching them and also narrating 
true and correct facts that have occurred or which they have been victims of so also the police need to be more sensitized in their investigative process so that they may be able to do full and complete justice in presenting the proper facts before the court by a investigation and report in which the links in the chain should bear not even a crack and far from being able to be broken the second leg which requires a little bit of introspection would be that of the public prosecutors where they are also amenable to being sensitized so that they may conduct the proceedings as per the requirements last and not the least would be creation of a specialized infrastructure so that criminal matters are taken expeditiously and on a day to day basis which is the most necessary need of the hour the creation of infrastructure is something that the government needs to apply its mind to where we would have specialized courts not being burdened with other crimi criminal matters or the general burden of a large number of civil matters the specialized courts would be able to deal with matters relating to crime in an effective time bound and expeditious manner with these things in place we would have restored the faith of the general public in the rule of law and it is only this faith and this system of the rule of law in which the progressiveness of a society can be measured with this hope i also urge each and every one of you to come forward and lend a helping hand because law encompasses every man and every person of society and it is only when we realize that it is the rule of law that is supreme that our faith in the system will increase thereby encouraging all who are part of the justice delivery system which include the executive the state and the judiciary to come together for a more effective system of justice delivery to victims of crime thank you the views of the learned speakers who have enlightened us on the topic on how can we strengthen the justice delivery to secure the rights of victims victims should be treated with compassion and respect for their dignity they are entitled to access the mechanisms of justice and prompt redress as provided by the national legislation for the harm that they have suffered in conclusion courage is of no value unless accompanied by justice yet if all human beings on earth become just there would be no need for courage happy world day for international justice a special thanks to the dignified speakers for sharing their valuable thoughts and i thank the viewers for joining in looking forward to see you all to the next edition of virtual judicare series 
do like and share this video and to those who have not yet subscribed to this channel kindly do subscribe thank you राष्ट्रीय न्यायिक सेवा प्राधिकरण न्यायालय कार्रवाई खाती बड़ा वकील मेल वेर योग्य कायदा खाल की मदद सलो दिता लोक अदालत द्वारा चढ़ काल केसीक बेगिन सोपयता भी सामे मोफत राष्ट्रीय न्यायिक सेवा प्राधिकरण बेस बो न्याय बेस बो समाज अधिक महती खाती लगे न्यायालय न्यायिक सेवा प्राधिकरण कार्यालय संपर्क करा वो टोल फ्री नंबर एक फोन करा